you don't. Don't! A good catchphrase can make or break a show. Dairy. Legendary! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best sitcom catchphrases. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. For this list, we've picked the funniest and most memorable catchphrases uttered by our favorite characters in live-action sitcoms. And now you can go back to just being you instead of a one-dimensional character with a silly catchphrase. Oh! Ay, caramba! Hmm. Hi, Leo! Uh. Excellent. Three, two, one. Number 10. Did I do that? Steve Urkel, Family Matters. Did I do that? As one of TV's most beloved nerds, Urkel was a constant pest to the Winslow family. Ah. Due to his infatuation with Laura and his lack of social skills, he always found himself in harebrained situations. Howdy -ho. Whenever Urkel said his famous line, whatever happened was his fault, usually because of his clumsiness or overzealous nature. Can I do that? Urkel is a classic goofball, but his slogan always ensures laughs. Can I do that? Bazinga. Number nine, Bazinga. Bazinga. Sheldon Cooper, The Big Bang Theory. Bazinga. As a child prodigy with five college degrees, Sheldon is known to be a bit high-strung and obsessive. Plus, he has a no-nonsense approach to life. You're the first woman you ever disappointed sexually, but a bazinga! Thanks to his logical nature, he's unable to get most of the jokes and sarcasm his friends are constantly spewing. Wanting to have a bit of fun himself, Sheldon uses bazinga whenever he's trying to share his brand of humor. When I do, kid, you will know it by my use of the word bazinga. <laughs> So you're saying the two of you are going to be sleeping in the same bed? Yes. Bazinga. His delivery is always dry and deadpan, making it hard to know if he is, in fact, joking. You know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> None of you ever see my practical jokes coming, do you? We're gonna meet some ladies. It's gonna be legendary. Phone five. Number eight. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, dairy. Barney Stinson, How I Met Your Mother. Every night can't be legendary. If all nights are legendary, no nights are legendary. Engaging in countless one-night stands and meaningless flings, Barney is the classic womanizer. It's gonna be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant because the second half of that word is dairy. He's also known to annoy the rest of the gang in various ways, and his overuse of the word legendary is just one complaint among many. Ted, Ted, Ted. You're not even looking. But that doesn't seem to stop Barney from pairing the word with his other catchphrase, wait for it, to make this super mega catchphrase. This party is legend, wait for it. And by the way, the longer he pauses before finishing the sentence, uh, how long do we have to wait for it? The funnier it gets. I think he's having a stroke. Number seven, Marsha, 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 Jan Brady, The Brady Bunch. Oh, Marsha, we were just talking about you. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I stopped by to walk home with you. I think I can do that all by myself. As the middle and, let's face it, less attractive daughter, Jan always gets the short end of the stick in comparison to Marsha. And I'll show her. It's no wonder she's constantly muttering her sister's name in an exasperated sigh. Well, all I hear all day long at school is how great Marsha is at this, or how wonderful Marsha did that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! Most of the time, Marsha deserves her sister's contempt because she never seems to appreciate how easy she has it. And no one likes a snob. We feel you, Jan. One more question, please. Sorry, miss. I cannot go on any longer. It's been a most exhausting day. Go. Force it in as deep as you can. Number six. That's what she said. Michael Scott, The Office. Hold it in your mouth if you can't swallow. As the obnoxious boss of the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, Michael tries constantly to win the approval of his co-workers. Mom? Uh, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> Most of the time, the guy doesn't get it. But that doesn't stop him from trying. Michael uses his catchphrase to joke, but he always ends up sounding like a 12-year-old with potty humor mentality. Wow, that is really hard. You really think you can go all day long? Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so... That's 
what she said. <laughs> The phrase became a running gag and a cultural phenomenon used to make any mundane phrase sound sexual. Is that sticky on the back? That's what she said. The tape. Mr. Uh, Fonzarelli? Hey. Number five. Hey. Arthur Fonzarelli, happy days. Hey. What's A? Hey. Simply known as the Fonz, Fonzie is the coolest guy you'll ever meet. Hey. Never seen without his trademark leather jacket and at least one girl on his arm, Fonzie goes where he wants, when he wants, and often randomly shows up to give advice to Richie Cunningham. Hey, observe. Whoa. Fonzie is a man of few words, hey. so his iconic phrase can be used to express any emotion. Hey. Based on his tone and inflection, others know exactly how he's feeling when he says it. Hey. Oh, what does that mean? A means fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Number four. Nope. Jerry Seinfeld, Seinfeld. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld is known for his humor and slight temper when it comes to those who annoy him, but it's never better than when his rage is directed at his arch enemy, Newman. Elaine, Newman is my sworn enemy, and he lives down the hall from my home. My home, Elaine! <laughs> where I sleep, where I come to play with my toys. This U.S. postal worker is often referred to as pure evil, though it's never clear exactly why Jerry hates him so much. Hello, Newman. Whatever the reason, we're glad these two don't get along. Hearing Seinfeld quip, no. were some of the show's best moments. Oh, I know the chunky that left these chunkies. Newman! We need to pull the videotape. Michael? Why? I've made a huge mistake. Number three. I've made a huge mistake, cast Arrested Development. You've made a huge mistake. The show is a zany character comedy depicting the lives of the dysfunctional Bluth family. I've made a huge mistake. Each character is quirky enough to find themselves in impossible situations, so they've all muttered this catchphrase a time or two. I've made a huge mistake. But it really belongs to George Oscar Bluth, more commonly known as Joe. Your dad's not trying to find you, your son is. That kid's your son. You're the dad. I made a huge, tiny mistake. One of his most memorable moments with the phrase came when he realized there weren't private toilets in jail. I've made a huge mistake. Number two. How you doing? Joey Tribbiani, Friends. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Damn it, Carl, go wait in the hall. Good-looking actor Joey has never had a problem getting girls, despite his vain nature and cheesy pickup lines. Oh, oh, well, what I do is uh, I look a woman up and down and I say, hey, how you doing? His best and most frequent line seems to always work no matter how prim and proper his target seems. Well, most of the time. How you doing? <laughs> With his over-exaggerated accent and often raised eyebrows, he looks and sounds ridiculous. But we can see why the ladies always fall for this one. How you doing? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Pretty good. It's pretty, 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 pretty good. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> you wanna go to the moon? Do you wanna go to the moon? Bang, zoom. <laughs> James, don't you dare go into that closet. What's he gonna do, Mama? He's getting his pool cue. Dino Mike. <laughs> Number one. What you talking about, Will? Arnold Jackson, different strokes. Arguably one of the cutest kids on TV ever, Arnold Jackson is a precocious child who's adopted by a rich New York bachelor after the death of his mother. And burglars have broken into apartments right here in this building. What you talking about, Mr. D? <laughs> Arnold is very perceptive and full of wit, so he always knows when something's up. He often says his iconic phrase to his brother when he smells a fishy situation. Yes, Arnold, I'm in jail. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> his pint-sized stature and the distrustful look on his face make him look both adorable and hilarious, sealing this one as the most iconic of them all. What are you doing in this car? It is loaded with dynamite. What you talking about, Knight Rider? <laughs> do you agree with our list? Which sitcom catchphrases do you quote all the time? Do I do that? For more catchy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <laughs>